about to start reading um, the latter half of uh, First Thessalonians chapter five. I mean, this evening we're going. Uh, the, the those who will be sharing their testimonies tonight will be um, talking about Thanksgiving for the year 2014. And so, kind of like as a uh, where our hearts and our minds have been kind of been centered. I'm sh I'm pretty sure I can speak for all the brethren here when pre preparing for this. These things have been going through our minds. So I want us all to kind of be in that same mindset. I'm going to start in verse 14. We're going to go through the end of the chapter. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, Prove all things and hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. And I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read to all the holy brethren, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. 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 So I'm going to kind of go through um, kind of what we, what, I don't want to say what we've endured, but I mean, that, that's kind of what we're looking at, was the things that we have endured, that, that we have overcome because of the Lord. Um, I'm just going to list a, uh, three or four things here. Um, for one, uh, occupation has kind of been a concern for many of us here over the past few years, and um, I do want to give thanks um, for Sister Roxanne. We uh, we finally were able. To, she was able to get a job finally, um, where she enjoyed the job and where she was good at it. I'm not saying that she wasn't good or before or anything. Um, but she, but for the first several months that she was there, she endured a lot of strife and a lot of um, a lot of backbiting and a lot of grief. And um, it it came down to really just came down to one person was causing all of this all these things, and um, it was I and mean, she lived she lived as a testament to Christ every time we went in there she she was working like a good worker she spoke of the Lord whenever she had an opportunity to, and um, once this person who was who was causing the, all these issues was gone, it was that it was that it was that time when it was like the bull was taken off Roxanne's light, and they could see, okay, now we can see who see her for who she is. Um, the additional, I mean, obviously the additional income that um, she that she earned was able to help us um, get the rental home, which we're currently in, which we're very thankful for. Which, um, it's a nice place to have, a place to have to yourselves. Um, we're also thankful um, that uh, Sister Roxanne's mother, Cindy, was able to come visit us this, this week. I'm thankful that she's here tonight as well. Um, also, I kind of want to share a little bit about my job is I work with a lot of students from Ozark Christian College. And uh, thir Thursday nights, I get the opportunity to close with just the OCC students. So it's an opportunity where, where we get to speak about the things of the Lord freely and openly. And there's none of this, hey, you guys can't be doing this now. You can't do this. You're going to offend someone. It's a, we can talk about it, and we don't even, we don't have to worry about offending anyone, because these are the things that we get to talk about. We get to enjoy these times, and so I'm thankful for that, for uh, for those brothers and sisters who I've met there, and who we have an opportunity to speak at length. Um, I also want to share that, um, I, I think I shared this a while ago, but back in June, um, the promotion that I've been working for, for the past three or four years, I was finally able to get, um, which gave us a, a good needed a uh, raise of income. Again, health with getting the home. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, little Nathaniel James. Um, uh, a lot of the issues Roxanne was having at work was also due to her being pregnant. And as you know, they can't legally say that because, you know, that, that's against the law. But um, we're thankful, though, that um, during this pregnancy, though, I, I do kind of see it as a mercy, though, that they did cut her hours in, in a way and that it kept her safe from any, from any excessive work, from anything that would have been too much for her body to bear. And it kept her safe. And so we're very th I'm very thankful that she had a very good, safe pregnancy during that time. And uh, we also want to give thanks, uh, uh, again, 
for a good, safe delivery. Um, when he was born, he did have the, the cord wrapped around his body like a sash. And um, initially we thought that was going to be a concern for him, but it wasn't. Uh, everything was safe with that. And, um, and there, was no immediate, there was no danger to him, and um, there was no danger to Roxanne during that time either. And also, um, one of the things that kind of thrilled, thrilled my, my own soul in this was... Um, Back in 1985, I was about a month old, and I had the opportunity, when, well, I had the opportunity, I did have the opportunity, but um, I was able to take place in a picture that not a lot of people get to take place in. I got to have four generations, it was my, myself, my father, Brother Given, and Brother Fred. And um, my mother had saved that picture, and I was very thankful that she had that still. And uh, we recently took a picture of the four of us, Brother Given, my dad, uh, Brother Michael, myself, and Nathaniel. And uh, to see that spiritual heritage passed down from generation to generation. Amen. And I really look forward to raising Nathaniel yeah. to love the Lord, to know the Lord. Amen. I'm really thankful for him and for the Lord for this. I want to give thanks as well. Um, we're, going to start, we're going to focus here on the assembly itself, um, these next couple of things. Uh, the opportunity to speak before the brethren, the, the growth I've seen in myself, my ability to expound the word and to edify the brethren has also been very good for me. Um, I am not one who, who can just get up and talk and talk and talk and talk. We know people who you say, you, you say saints and they can talk for hours and end about that. And that's a great thing. I don't have that ability to, to say, I hear the word saints, and I can, I can give you a little bit. I, I, I mean, I know what I know, I know, and I can share. But I don't have the ability to just keep going with it. And I am thankful that I'm in an assembly where there are brethren who can do that. And where I can, um, even though, I, I, again, because I'm not a speaker or a talker, I, I do still garnish these things, and I still do pull these things out, and I do take them, and I do consider them in my heart, much like Mary did. Um, I've noticed my growing, my growth, um, particularly in my increasing of uh, the opening words and the calling to the Lord's tables I've done in the past year. Um, I past couple few weeks I've been going back through things that I've done over the past uh, three years I've been here, and it's not necessarily the length, but the depth of the things that I've been, that I've, I've I've seen grow, and that's been um, mm -hmm. that's that's been a very good thing for me to see. And to see that the brethren here are edified by that as well. I mean, that, that's, that's really the good indicator right there, is that the brethren are the ones who are edified by that. Um, also, uh, the table in the wilderness, it was the first time um, I had the opportunity to speak at the table in the wilderness. Um, Sister Roxanne and I both did a, did a co-opening word. And um, I was really thankful to Brother Aaron for, and Sister Barb and Brother Given for letting us do that. Um, there's another kind of indicator along that line of where we've grown. And uh, the final thing I'd like to talk about is uh, the assistance that we've received, especially over the past year. I mean, we've had a lot of trials and a lot of strife we've had going on. Um, we've had a lot of small things come up, but the small things, you know, kind of build up to big things. It has a snowball effect. So I just want to give thanks to particular people tonight. And I'd like to give thanks to Brother Matt and Sister Nicole Cobb, uh, who uh, purchased a refrigerator for us uh, right before the baby was born. That was uh, very much a neat thing. We had just a little, little two-cubic dorm room fridge, which, you know, that's not going to be sufficient when you have an infant. Um, the brethren here uh, chipped in and purchased us a washer and dryer. And we, again, we're very thankful for that. Um, the brethren have been providing meals over the past few weeks for us, which has been a load all for us because I'm still working full-time and actually working a little bit more than full-time right now. And uh, Roxanne is staying home, taking care of the baby all the time now. And, you know, we're okay with that. But um, not to come home and not have to worry about trying to find something to eat or spending another hour trying to prepare food after work, after after all that is a, has been a mercy to us. Um, Brother David Hole and my mother, Jean, um, have been helping us financially over the past year with, with small things. Uh, small things will come up, and 
we don't even have to mention it to them. And, and like, we like, oh, you guys doing okay? Yeah, we're doing great. Well, here's a check for hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, um, but you know, there are th- there were times where we were in danger of um, having utilities shut off, whatever. And brother David and, and uh, my mom Jean, um, they we didn't tell them these things, but they provided the funds for for uh, us to not lose those things. So I want to give thanks to them as well. Um, I want to give thanks to uh, particularly brother Michael and sister Michelle, but of course all the brethren. Um, for the encouragement that we have received from them in and out of the assembly. Um, I, I do want to, I highlight Brother Michael and Sister Michelle because they are my direct family. And so I am with, so I guess see them more often than the rest of you. And so they are a constant source of encouragement when we are feeling down or when we are discouraged in our faith and they are able to build us back up. And we're thankful for that. And again, the last thing I, I, I want to mention is the baby shower and for the sisters and and uh, for the brothers and for you know, the, the various things that you've given us to uh, help us out to get started off with um, having Nathaniel. Um, these are all mercies from the Lord. These are all things that are needful. These are all things that we do not take for granted. Amen. So I, I do want to give thanks for all of you. And um, I pray that this next coming year, um, we will continue to grow in our ability to edify one another and to encourage one another. Thank you.